going back to taking a step back and looking at capitalism from a holistic point of view, we've just discussed employee ownership. What other factors do you think should be reevaluated? For example, executive pay, encouraging long term thinking, a potential UBI. What would you say are some factors we should be thinking about? A great question. Um, UBI is an interesting one. I believe you brought this up in class and I've been thinking about it um, since. Um, I'd, I'd like to keep looking at that. Mm. Um, and I think UBI is a, is a contributor. I don't think it's, it's in competition with something that generates wealth because what UBI does is it gives you a nice safety blanket where people can just kind of not feel the pressure of, of, of living on planet Earth yeah. all the time where people can just think and dream and just have um, access to basic utilities and that sort of thing. So I, I see it more in that sense. Um, and then employment is sort of the next um, stage up from there where you actually want to create growth. Um, so UBI absolutely, I think, is on the table. We do have to finish, uh, sorry, figure out the economics around that, how we pay yeah. for that. I've seen models that suggest that it, w- it wouldn't take as much as we think that it, that it would. The mm. beauty, again, of something like, uh, you know, employee ownership is it should, you know, where people have ownership and their companies are able to have profit share in addition to the income, it should take pressure off the tax system where you actually have more tax money towards something like UBI and whatever other social programs make sense um, for the economy. So, yeah, I've got a lot, a lot of time for that. Um, you know, regarding um, CEO um, pay compensation. So generally the way that you, know, you think about that is that that's a marketplace. And so for standout CEOs, if they can earn X amount in this company, then we should be willing to pay them X amount as well. And these companies basically kind of say, well, can this person generate more more income than whatever it is that we're paying them, right? So if we, if we want to pay this person three, you know, three million a year, do we think that by having them, they're going to generate more than three million a year tax? And yeah. if they if they are, um, then yes, this makes sense. And it's sort of hard to argue. Um, you know, I, I'm sure that there are some standout CEOs that uh, that command that kind of money. To be honest, I'm less. I almost tend to think that 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 can be a bit of a distraction. I, I do think that there should be limits on that. I do. Right. Um, I, uh, the ratios in in Europe are much better than they are in the US. I think in the US, yes. you know, it's something like one to one hundred and fifty or something. In Europe, something like one to thirty between you know, kind of your run the mill worker and CEOs. Um, so I do think there can be some regulation to cap that but I also feel that it can be a, a distraction. In the same vein as what I said at the start of the conversation around, you know, blue collar workers in the US thinking, you know, let's hang Hillary Clinton and let's put Donald Trump in power and that's going to solve the problem. These measures have a contributing factor for sure, um, but are they systemic? I would say that they aren't systemic. And so if they aren't systemic, by definition, they can't change the system. They can't actually change the way um, money moves um so yes let's cap that but let's not get distracted by that because in the grand scheme of things it's not you know if you've got a company of you know i don't know forty thousand, and mm-hmm. the ceo is getting paid five five million and you cut that to two million you still gotta essentially split three million dollars across forty thousand people it's not going to change anyone's lives too, right. too much. I know that there are CEOs that get paid more than that, of course. There are CEOs that make 70 million plus. Um, but you kind of get get what I'm saying is, is we can't keep thinking about economics as a zero sum game. Mm. We can't keep thinking about, well, to do better, we must take from somebody yeah. else. We need to find a way to kind of grow the pie for everybody. Um, one thing I'm really interested in is just incentives in terms of, you know, in a country like the US, 80%, I believe, of companies are, 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 are um, held at the, um, you know, the stock exchange level. And I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not at all advocating that we should deal with, with stock exchanges, but I do think that the quarterly reporting is hurting us more than it's, you know, mm. more than it's helping us. You can't have, a, you know, everyone sort of railing on about ESG and let's do the right things without recognizing that that comes at a cost. 
Yeah. And so if you're not going to accept that and allow companies to work through those costs um, and what it's going to take, you can't penalize them at the same time as you're asking them to, mm. to go on and do good things. So switching to, you know, I think immediately even a switch to a, a biannual would yeah. help a lot and then hopefully down the line even, even more. I've worked at big companies and then all we did all month long was keep our keep our eye on that number, whatever metrics that we promised. And, you know, there's no, there's very little thought towards investment. There's very little yeah. time to think about, you know, what's actually helping people have a better experience at work, what's actually creating value for customers. Mm. You know, we spend all our time sort of cutting costs and in some ways acting like a private equity company. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, short termism has stunted, I think, so much value creation and so much potential growth because we're constantly chasing that higher earnings per share to to appease Wall Street, to appease the institutional investors. So I, I'm, I'm completely on board. I completely agree that quarterly reporting should be swapped back to annual reporting. I think it orig- always originally was annual reporting. I and mean, at some point in the past, it got changed to quarterly. Yeah. I was so yeah. I read an interesting idea in a book. It's called Grover Pie. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. Yeah. I've um, read that one. That's a good one. Yeah, it's brilliant. I think Alex talks about this really interesting idea about um adding in a a lock-in period, a lock-up period for yeah. stock options for CEOs. Mm-hmm. So it means when they leave the company, they can't yeah. liquidate their stocks for five years. And this is to ensure yeah. that they implement sustainable strategies which will create long-term value creation yeah. um and yeah try and discourage this short-termism so i 100 percent. yeah i love that idea i wish we could do the same with something like private equity you know to kind of say if you created long-term value are these companies you know doing well five five years after you've left it's harder to do obviously but yeah yeah i i love the general idea behind that yeah yeah. What do you think the role of a state should be? I mean, if we if we look at Denmark, for example, Denmark play a much more central role in in governing society than the UK or the US, Western other Western democracies. Um, yeah. They have that flexitarian approach. Do you think governments should be more involved or less involved when thinking about reshaping capitalism in the future? Well. It seems to me like at the start, you know, the, the government has a catalytic role to play. But, and by that, I mean, if a government is coming up with measures that they have to continue to oversee and, and, and is going to require continued big government, I'm not in favor of that. I think that there are things that the government is going to be needed to put in place, but then those, you know, those, things should very quickly create their own momentum and right. actually allow for reduction in the government size. So going back to employee ownership, you know, for, you know, just for a second, you know, one of the things that can happen is the government, you know, in, we just had some bailouts last year. So if the government sort of stepped in and said, you know what, in order to have this money, you're going to have to transition, you know, 30% of your, of your, um, um, your value to employees, right? So that's the role that the government could play in saying, we're, you're going to do this. Um, and if you can make a successful transition to employee ownership, what you find is, is that then, as I mentioned, the tax load goes down, right? So um, if the tax load is going down, um, sorry, not the tax load, the, the, um, the welfare load, and yeah, so that is the tax load. In terms of what the government has to do in terms of social spending, that goes down. And so you actually are diminishing the requirements for the government because you now got a system that spreads wealth more equally. Um, so that kind of measure um, is something that I'd be interested in. Uh, measures that mean you know that big government is to exist in perpetuum. I just instinctively feel wrong to me. I think the tricky thing with the government is so much of it is just instinct. Most people mm. that you speak with that for one way or the other, they're really speaking out of a place of instinct and as a, as a out of a place of what are humans here to do? Are we yeah. here to be independent, free thinking creators or are we here to basically fall in line um, and fall into a, a rigid system? So my instinct is probably more 
on 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 the side of I do think to the extent that human beings are free to express themselves and and express their originality individuality, that's that's a good thing. Um, will we ever get rid of government? I hope not. I do think that there's a there's certainly a role. As long as they are bad actors, they're going to be there's going to be a need for government.